because it just doesn't feel organic. I know a lot of people are saying this feels like a psyop. And I'm like, dude, when I see this stuff, my mind doesn't immediately go to. Dude, what do you mean it doesn't feel organic? You've never felt the touch of a woman, dog. Of course it doesn't feel organic to you. You've never had organically a relationship with a woman. November 13th, 2024. Taylor Swift will turn 35 years old, making her eligible to assume the office of the presidency of the United States. Now, many people are commenting that she could not possibly be running this year. That's right. Taylor Swift, because she's only 30. This is one of my favorite. Like, this is so stupid. Like, it's awesome. This is like 50 state landslide victory for Donald Trump levels of like insanity. Four. Oh. In fact, you can run if you are 34. If by the time of inauguration, for the record, there is no white girl civil war. No, Taylor Swift is, is if Taylor Swift, not going to happen, but if she were to actually like be on the ticket, there is no white girl civil war. She just, you know, 100% wins every state. There is not a bigger uniting factor in this country amongst white women than Taylor Swift. It don't matter. You could be a Republican. You could be a liberal. You could be a socialist. You could be whatever the fuck you want to be. Every, every white lady loves Taylor Swift. I have yet to meet. A white lady that does not hold Taylor Swift in high regard. Okay. I'm not just talking about like cutie. I'm talking like in general, she is the uniting factor. I thank God every day that she is not a fucking psychotic weirdo. Okay. Like, could you imagine if she came out and was like, you know, doing like red pill memes or like white supremacist shit? Oh my God. Thank God. She's like a typical run-of-the-mill liberal, okay? You would be 35. No, of course. No, it's silly and absurd to think that Taylor Swift would actually run for the presidency. But maybe vice president, right? Same standard, standards apply. If you're going to be vice president, you got to be at least 35 for the same reason. You can't assume the office of the presidency if you are under 35. Now, not, it's not so clear on the, uh, I'm not so clear, on the legal uh, qualification requirements, et cetera, for vice president. But I assume, I believe it is the same based on a report we had uh, covered a couple of years ago. The Baltimore Sun writes, forget Kamala Harris, put Taylor Swift on Joe Biden's ticket. Very interesting. Now, those who follow sports last night, I think the Chiefs beat the Ravens and are advancing to the Super Bowl with many people questioning how Taylor Swift could actually be there to see her, 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 her beau, boo, beau, Travis Kelsey, because she's going to be in Japan singing a song. Of course, this leads us to the expansion of the wild claim that Taylor Swift is a psyop, a government asset of some sort meant to manipulate people. And why is that? The whole Travis Kelsey, Taylor Swift thing feels completely manufactured. And Taylor Swift keeps telling people, there's nothing funnier than looking at marketing and public relations and being like, guys, this marketing and public relations campaign seems a lot like marketing and public relations to me. Okay. What, what's going on here, guys? Are we, are we selling tickets? Is that, is that what's going on? Seems like a real psyop guys. Like, yeah, dude, what are you talking about? You're now directly pointing to a normal thing. As far as like the relationship being fake, I don't think it is. Okay. But yes, it absolutely is like heavily pushed by the media because it put it puts asses in seats. That's it. Anyway, let's continue People to register to vote. I got to be honest with you. I want to read through some of the wild claims and the crazy things that are going on related to Taylor Swift. And it is pretty crazy. X has banned all searches for Taylor Swift, all of them. And they say it's because people keep posting this AI generated graphic imagery. What a perfect cover. Anybody? No, he's memeing, right? I don't think he's being serious. Like, there's no way. There's no way. That would require Elon to be in on the conspiracy. And I think uh, it, Tim Pool loves Elon, right? God, dude, conservative commentary is like falling off of a goddamn cliff. I don't watch enough Tim Pool, so I don't know if he's like memeing or if he's being real right now. Holy moly, that is really bad. Who wants to explore the CIA conspiracy theory. That's no, going he's over. doing like a funny voice. He doesn't believe it. He's just, he's fucking memeing, dog. There's no, there ain't no way. You understand me? There's no way. Hold round. Won't be able to. Because due to some online trolls using AI, well, now you can't even search for anything about Taylor Swift. 
I'll be honest with you guys. I do not believe that Taylor Swift is some like CIA asset. I don't believe she's actually going to run for president. I don't believe she's going to be the VP on a Michelle Obama Taylor Swift ticket or anything like that. I think this is your typical celebrity play relationship garbage. I do not believe that her relationship with Travis Kelsey is legitimate. I think they do this all the time. Okay, you've got the Chiefs. They're playing football. They've got some, you know, an athlete they're trying to promote to build a brand. Taylor Swift, of course, one of the most famous people in the world. They go to her and they say, we, we PR people think it'll be huge for your brand. It'll get you on the cover of magazines. It'll get football in play. We got the Super Bowl coming up. Let's put you guys together and craft this narrative. You'll break up within the year. That is very typical. Now, I'm not saying I know absolutely that's what's going on with Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey, but that seems to be the likeliest of scenarios because it just doesn't feel organic. I know a lot of people are saying this feels like a psyop, and I'm like, dude, when I see this stuff, my mind doesn't immediately go to, dude, what do you mean it doesn't feel organic? You've never felt the touch of a woman, dog. Of course, it doesn't feel organic to you. You've never had organically a relationship with a woman, okay? The relationship understander. It's so funny to be like, yeah, no, celebrities are actually, like, every time they get into relationships is, like, somehow completely manufactured. Are there fake celebrity relationships uh, specifically designed for uh, PR purposes? Sure, okay? But sometimes they're just slanging dick like Pete Davidson. You know what I mean? 100% of them, yes. Oh, God. You guys are so crazy. No, dude. Not every fucking celebrity relationship is a psyop. They're just like normal fucking people sometimes, okay? Like, I'm sure they weigh the options and they think like, oh, if I do this, it will this turn into like, uh, will this have a good impact on my, my Q rating or whatever? I'm sure they think about it. Celebrities are not normal. Oh my God, I'm losing it. It is not, they're not like, they don't lead normal lives, but as far as like when relationships goes, like, no, there are normal relationships in this world, okay? Like people meet each other, they like one another, they fuck, like it's normal. They're normal in the sense that like, you know, they have wants, aspirations, dreams, and also sexual fantasies as well. It's not like, a, it's not like unique to, non-celebrity humans bold of you to assume what twitch chat knows normal is i mean true it's like expecting uh him to know that you know the cia has put them into a relationship so that she can get you to register to vote she doesn't need to be in a relationship with the guy to tell you to register to vote taylor swift has already told her fans to vote she's already supported democrats in the past she doesn't need anything else to do so perhaps then the conspiracy theory is that she's going to be with Travis Kelsey at the Super Bowl. Kelsey will score the game-winning touchdown. And as he runs into the end zone, putting the game to the end, finishing it off, and they'll say, there it is, Travis Kelsey has scored the game-winning touchdown. I know there's, it's, it's not so much like um, basketball where you can like throw the ball at the last minute, score, and then it's over. You know, it, it, uh, wild game with LeBron uh, this weekend. Was that, was that, uh, yeah, that was Saturday. But with football, it's not just, it, it could be definitive. That's it. With that touchdown, the Chiefs are going to win the Super Bowl. And then once he gets to the end zone, he drops down, puts the ball on the ground, looks up to where Taylor is sitting, and he pulls out a ring. And he opens up. The crowd goes wild. Ah! Everyone's screaming. I don't understand. Did he just say that, like, there are no game winners in basketball? Like, I'm confused by this. Or is he saying there's no, or is he saying there's no game winners in football? Because there are in both. I don't really understand why he's trying to say, like, one has it and the other doesn't. Everyone's turning on their TVs. The ratings are through the roof. It is PR gold. If you were to do something like that. Some have suggested the, the trophy ceremony or something like this. He may do it. But uh, during the game at the, at the Super Bowl, really seems to be the perfect play. But the perfect play for what? Now, a lot of people think that the goal is to generate such mass appeal and attention for Taylor Swift that when she then turns around and goes, now go vote for Joe Biden, everyone in the country sees it and they all clap and cheer and scream and high five each other. Come on, that's not going to happen. I don't, I, don't, I don't, look, I don't know what you expect to happen with Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey, but the best case scenario for whoever is behind the PR stuff is that they just build brand and get on the cover of magazines. That's it.
They can charge more money now. They can go to big brands and say, hey, my rates went up 10 times. Travis Kelsey now can get on the box of Wheaties or whatever. I don't see how this in any way is going to help registered Democrat voters. Taylor Swift already has her core friends. But get this. It's not enough. Let's read through the news. Let's talk about what's going on. And uh, there's a few things I do want to point out. I love this story from the from the sun. NFL fans convinced. This is actually not bad. I mean, he's not wrong. He's he is like addressing the conspiracy and making fun of it. Shocked to find out. Oh, this was a great t- uh, tweet. Yes. It's funny that there's a white po- football player on a Midwestern team with an offensive name dating a blonde haired blue eyed country singer and Republicans hate them. This is literally the most like Republican coded conservative shit of all time. But because they're not like. Because they're not actually uh, conservative. They're like both liberals. They're losing their minds over it. They're saying the Chiefs is offensive, name-wise. You get it? Native American. Actual 49ers committed genocide against the natives. Oh, that's American history, baby. All right. Inside Biden's anti-Trump plan and where Taylor Swift fits in. There is a very real effort from the Brandon regime to get Taylor Swift on board. Because of course they do. Of course they want it. Why wouldn't they? Taylor Swift is like... A liberal herself has spoken out against Republicans in the past. So, yeah, why wouldn't they? I know you didn't ask, but the people have to know. CIA assassinated Taylor Swift in September 11, 2001, 22 years ago, which coincides with her best song. And did the attack on Twin Towers to cover it up? She has been since replaced replaced by her evil twin who listens to whatever JFK whispers in her ear below the White House. And since its 22nd anniversary, she's finally ready to run for president. This is real. I did my master's in white history and European studies. I believe it. I believe it. Um, This was a funny tweet from a racist piece of shit. To those who might say the right needs its own Taylor Swift for young women to look up to, I answer, we already have that. Her name is Lauren Boebert, which I assume is like someone I hope being satirical because that guy is like a like a genuine right wing guy. I hope it's satire. TV station is trying to break into her house. All right. Anyway, I'm not going to I'm not going to watch 27 minutes of this. I'll die. Let's get to some uh, real news.